bazaar. We must inform Captain Brant at once. Well met. I know where that person can be found, Master. This way. There's a ladder here. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. We're in the right place, but the one we're due to meet has yet to show. Ought we to wait for them? Welcome to the Star Tropic. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup? Come back any time. Welcome. Welcome to the Star Drop Inn. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you? Welcome to the Star. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a? Always a pleasure. Welcome to the start. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you? Come back any time. to go on. Lots to do. I'll go on an adventure of my own. Time. I've heard some interesting tidings about town. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes? It would seem... There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. A place with books likely to entice Magistrate Waldo, you say? Not springs to mind, I'm afraid. Kendrick of the Gracious Hand is versed in many things. Perchance he knows of such a place? There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. You've done a fine job culling those monsters, your majesty. Tis common knowledge among the people that t'was you who delivered them from danger. The number of those who seek out this tavern in the hope of an audience with the Arisen grows by the day. Should you continue to display such valor, the day will soon come when Deesa can no longer deny your presence, and ere it slips my mind. Pray, take this. Tis a symbol of my own gratitude. We have achieved our objective. Indeed. You've called more than your fair share of monsters. I expect tales of your valor will soon be told in taverns. Not a bad idea. Must we run everywhere? You are an impatient one, Arisen. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot.
Good. We're here. We shall await you here, Mark. You are the Arisen. Yes? The captain gave me your description. Follow me! But not at the expense of my duty. I dread to think I wasted a second of my day. Don't worry, I stand. I've been on my feet all day. It is best you move along. Should one of the other guards spy you, I will be forced to play my part. Pray be cautious, Your Majesty. Who's there? Pray, keep your voice low. Twouldn't be good for either of us if someone was summoned to come check on me. Could it be that you have come to bring Mother's schemes to light? Aye, Deesa is my mother. Pray forgive me for not telling you sooner. Twas never my intent to deceive you. I'd simply feared that if I spoke the truth, none would wish to involve themselves with me. But that is no longer a concern. Tis clear that we are allied in purpose. My word! You mean to say that you are the true Arisen? That the Sovereign currently residing in the palace is a pretender? Could Mother have had a hand in that as well? Regent Kin Sven appears to be missing from his chambers. Have you seen him? Me? No, sir. Then start searching, you fool. Should aught befall the Regent Kin, tis us who'll answer to her grace. Forgive me. My absence seems to have made this rather more difficult for us. You ought leave the palace at once. This room turned up little of interest, but I have a mind to look into this further. I shall send word to Captain Brandt if I discover aught you should know. I'll head out first and speak with the Sentinels. Use that opportunity to make good your escape. Forgive me. I couldn't sleep. I thought a stroll might clear my head. Fine place to let my feet. Seems well here, but you can ne'er be sure. It's almost seen better days. Hmm. Want that such peace? Oh. I mean, fine. fine. I'm 
sure I can handle this. Quite sure. I hear the coronation is to be held and on. Good thing too. I long to see the back of this crooked age of proxies. Of course, the matter of attendance is always a contentious one, particularly concerning the special recommendations. You see, commoners who perform meritorious deeds or who prove their upstanding character may be granted invitations. It beggars belief that layfolk, with nearly a shred of decorum, should be allowed to attend such an august occasion. For instance, if you, by some miracle, were to be recommended, I should thank you to know your place. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. What's this? Come to admire my sculptures, have you? Ho <laughs> ho! To think my eminence as a collector would reach in the ears of the Arisen. If only my collection were complete, I'd fain allow you to inspect it. Alas, the sculpture that I commissioned to be its centerpiece is yet to arrive, and would wound my pride to have you behold my collection ere it is made whole. If your curiosity shall not be denied, however, mayhap you consider paying a visit to the sculptor in my stead. The man's home is located in Bakbatal. You need only tell him that I eagerly await the sculpture's completion. A simple conversation oft reveals what a week of searching never could. Whom shall we speak with first? Will someone do aught about this? This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. After you, Arisen. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. For some time now, it was said that the false sovereign was recovering from his battle wounds. But as I hear it, he is now well enough to walk unaided. And so, in honor of his supposed valor, they have been holding masquerade in the palace of late. The false sovereign's identity is still beyond our ken. Even the matter of from where he hails remains a mystery. But may up approaching the false sovereign at one of these gatherings could afford you a glimpse into the man behind the mask. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? My thanks. Some of the sentries posted at the masquerades are under my command. I shall have them ease security. So pray, slip into the venue through whatever opening presents itself. Once your infiltration is successful, you will need only don a mask and act the part of an invitee. Few will think to be wary if they believe you a fellow masquerader. Here, this should suffice to help you blend in. Take care, your majesty. Ah, there is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Much is made of appearances at such gatherings, and twould be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. How fared your mission? Was there aught suspicious to be found in the Queen Regent's office? This scrap. It was part of a letter, and from Batal no less. This alone can prove little, 
but it is clear that Deezer's schemes run deep. To think, Deezer's actions have weighed even on the mind of her own son. Tis a surprise, but a welcome one. Deezer is a, the doting mother before the Regent King. If Regent King Sven is willing to aid us by drawing Deezer's focus, we may be able to gain here more useful information. You have done well, Your Majesty. Though I am limited in the aid I am able to offer, I bid you, take this. It seems we were right to suspect the Queen Regent. We ought to keep an eye on her in the days to come. That's odd. Queen Regent Deesa appears to be working in concert with this phaser's fellow. But what precisely is their aim? The false sovereign has been an enigma for far too long. What say we make for Vermin's eastern edge and investigate him? I, I have a rough idea of where our destination lies. Uh, shall I show you there, Master? Apologies, but I can't offer you... Off we trot. Me. <laughs> I'm not risking my time life for a that dull hard a lesson. Where will the wind blow me to? This ox cart's bound. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Save it, cuz. I'm not interested. An ox cart ought to make our journey. Easier. One hopes these carts offer comfort commensurate to their cost. Very useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? I've been on my feet 
Not worth writing home about. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. These writings could be of import. Shall we take a closer look? Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but different masters favor different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies. Fascinating. Near 
enough of the questions. You think they'd learn by now not to creep up on me? It seems there are wolves on the prowl. Ice is not a threat to it. We may have to rethink our strategy. I can't be like these fangs. In the upper hand, you know, this is a bit of a worm, as they say. You're gonna regret that. Oh, where that came from? Leave off!
time to talk, I'm afraid. I'm a busy man. Look at this! Fancy a broken arm? Why, that's my speciality. Just what I was waiting for! Apologies, but I can't offer you a ride, sir. It's this way. Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? Our respective abilities are unique as well. We must each of us own our secrets. Lightning has electrifying potential against this one. I want you fire flame. That's quite the temper. Might be not used though, mate. Pleasantly cool here. What with a canopy overhead? I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. I dare say, I've accomplished a few feats to Let be proud of. Let us work about. together to honor the arisen. I don't know about you, Master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? Ingredients are 
plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. was impeccably timed, Arisen. for swapping stories but perhaps another night I can scarce keep my eyes open a forgotten rift stone we've not discovered lies nearby it is this way, as I recall, from my last sojourn beyond the rift. I cannot fall to the tower. It's a bit early to be thanked. The enemy yet remains. Well said. This is generally used as a material. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. Are we leaving already? Bother. I was just getting warmed up. If your pack grows over full, simply ask me. I would have preferred not to have to come so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste.
look, a chest. Well, I shan't get my hopes up. There's treasure within, I'm certain of it. But there's only one way to find out. There's aught to be found there. Can you not see it? We ought to take a closer look. an enigma for far too long. What say we make for Vermin's eastern edge and investigate it? I have a rough idea of where our destination lies. Shall I show you there, Master? We're in your hands, sir. Much of luck. You have my protection. Considering the might of our combined experience, what other outcome could there have been?
Follow me. This way, if you please, Master. It is rather narrow here. Be on your guard. I only hope we encounter no foes. Here we are safely through. You there! Are you looking to enter the village? You'd best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. I don't know about you, Master, but word of a curious... You'd best go elsewhere. There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. What brings you here? There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Rather more common looking than I'd expected. But I suppose that's neither here nor there. It is a question of skill at the end of the day. So or you, neither me. Fancy look well met, sir. How might I be of service? Business could be better. But I'm scraping by.
Always a pleasure. I shall tend. Should you require healing, Master? You need merely say the word. Ah, you must be the visitor I've heard so much about. Have you some business here in the village? <laughs> As you like, sir. This is the inn, of course. Nothing's free in this world.
You shan't hear me complain about an early repose. Shall we hunt a few monsters to start the day off? Come, we've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept well. Well met, sir. I'll Ah, you must be the visitor I've heard so much about. Have you some business here in the village? You would know of our village? As you can see, tis a simple place, tucked away on the eastern edge of Vermond. Is there all else I can help you with, sir? Arthur. <laughs> tis a name unfamiliar to me, I'm afraid. At least, no one by that name lives here, sir. You would know of our village? As you Is there all else I can help you with, sir? <laughs> As you like, sir. Happiness is a full stop. We're going this way now, I suppose. By your will. The Arisen decides our path. We have but to follow. Well met, sir. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I'm by your side. chest. I shall take a look inside. Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. Greetings. I must say, I'm impressed by your intuition, sir. You found me out far sooner than most. I trust you are enjoying your sojourn in our fair village. If you have any questions, ask away. I should be glad to aid you. If aught about our humble village seems strange to you, that is easily explained. For it is here that thieves are instructed in the skills they require. To begin with, those who wander into the village are evaluated for their potential aptitude. Of course, you are no exception. That you stand here now is proof you were deemed a worthy candidate. Which is to say, you have my approval as the Thiefmaster. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? You're curious what I know of you? Quite a bit, I should think. Naturally, I'm not the only one. Our village has its own network of spies and informants, you see, and your title tends to make you stand out among the rumors we collect. You're the second arisen to come to Vermont, and you've allied yourself with Captain Brandt against the Queen Regent. In response, she's... Oops, I mustn't say another word. Don't misunderstand. I'm no ally of the Queen Regent. I merely strive to maintain neutrality in political matters. Those who deal in information must ne'er align themselves with a particular power. Such is our village code. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? Arthur, you say? Hmm. I've lived in this village many a year, but I can't say I've heard of someone by that name. My apologies. Is there aught else you'd care to ask? I Take care, then. You, sir, are worthy of inheriting my ultimate technique. Once mastered, it will allow you to fell all foes, both minuscule and mighty. Take it, 
and do with it what you will. I'm not interested. We shall wait here till your business is done. Nothing exciting ever happen here. Got something for me? Can't say I have any tidings to share. It is a letter most inscrutable. And I fear it will remain as such if we cannot find another piece to this puzzle. This is the end, of course. Nothing's free in this world.
Do stop by again. Well chosen, Risen. I'm... Certain you'll master that vocation as no other could. We shall meet half. This is the end, of course. Nothing's free in this world. Glad to be of service, sir. Yeah. Ah, you must be the visitor of Herds. You would know of our village? Is there all else I can help you with, sir? Arthur. At least, no one by that name lives here. <laughs> As you like. Fancy look at my wares? Always a pleasure. Our packs are heavier, and our purses far lighter. These were necessary expenses, mine. No use clinging to every last coin.
Well done, Arisen. You have acquired a Maester's teaching, an important milestone in mastering any vocation. It is an honor and a privilege to serve a master so accomplished. It is clear you're not interested in arriving at our destination, so I'll hold off on guiding us there for now. Tis not for us to gain Savior Risen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. Do you know how long you'll be? I only asked so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. I suppose all we can do is wait. You made it after all. <laughs> Guess that means I win. Oi, you lot best pay up. Dear me. You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Go on. Ask away. Figures you'd want to know about him. We're supposed to be neutral. Ordinarily, I wouldn't say a word about one of our jobs. But I suppose I can tell you, the situation being what is. His real name is Dora. 
He was one of us, once. But he's been exiled. We had no choice, see? After he went off to play the false arisen, were men and women of shadow. Center stage isn't our place to stand. That's why he was cast out. He'll near be part of our village again. That all you wanted to ask? What can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Luckily for me, you were different. Knew I was right to bet in favor of the Arisen. Anyway, most visitors get fooled into going up to the manor. We send them packing with a trifle, and if they don't question it, good riddance. Anyone that complacent has got no business being a thief. We only train the rare few who make it here. Some might go so far as to say that the entire village was built around this spot. That all you wanted to ask? For all this, Dara was in line to become the next thief, Maester. But he failed. Took a massive injury to the chest during the trial. So the title fell to me. That's when he went off, saying he used the scar in his chest to pose as the Arisen. And what a scheme that turned out to be, eh? Now he gets to sit pretty on the best seat in the kingdom. Still, you'd have a hard time proving that he's not who he says he is. He's a wily one, that Dara. Always was careful not to leave behind a shred of evidence. But we can't have him thinking that he gets to go off and enjoy a peaceful life in the lap of luxury after breaking our code. Me thinks he needs something to remind him of the debt he owes us. Here, this should do the trick. Now, as to the Maester's teaching, not sure you'll be able to use it to its fullest potential, but I'll show it to you. It's too quiet here for me. Is this where you've been all this time? Tis rather far from where we agreed to meet up. Do take care not to stray so far next time. to be heading home. But dreams are free, I say. Fancy a look at my wares? If you could determine this village... What you need of me? Ah, you must be the visitor I've heard so much about. Dara. <laughs> that man isn't associated with our village anymore. In fact, if e'er you should meet him, pray inform him that he is no longer welcome here. <laughs> As you like. This is the inn. 
Of course. Nothing's free in this world. Glad to be of service, sir. This is the end course. Nothing's free in this world. Do stop by again. Fancy look at my wares. Can't work as late as well. We have found a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Forgotten something arisen? What appears to have changed since we were last here? Let us proceed with due caution. Hmm. I cannot fault your memory. We must get to the bottom of this. Never get anywhere if all we do is rest. Let us return once we've grown tired from our labors.
I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In ba- All told, I'm rather satisfied with my performance. If ever you've need of an ear to listen, you- I'll gather this. It might be of use. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. No harm in picking a few. We see how half village fares the late master. And here we are, in the blink of an eye. Shall we take stock of our surroundings? Trade reflects the times, and these are trying ones. It is quiet. Wouldn't say no to a nice, juicy beast step. Over here, if you please. What about this place next to me? Think I could. Sir Arisen! Thank heavens you've come. Just when almost all of the villagers had arrived as well. Oh, why must these scaly fiends beset us so? Oi, what are you doing standing about when there's work to be done? Jonas, this is the good sir I spoke of. The one who called the Saurians for us. Is that right? Then I expect you to aid us with this mess, stranger. You did it once afore, eh? Only natural you'd help finish the job. My apologies for the chief's temperament. Yet he speaks truly. We have need of your strength. Pray, calm the beasts as you did before, sir. I dare say you are the only one upon whom we can depend. All swords. Dorian, uh, uh, Let my magic strong. Hey! 
heirs to the thrill of- The Saurians are no more, I see. That's twice you've come to our rescue now. You're more than a friend to Harv Village, sir, or isn't. You are a hero. Truly, we cannot th Here he is! I found our troublemaker! Jonas! What is the meaning of this? This blasted beastrin went and ventured into Stormwind Cave! How many times have we said none are to tread there? But he just had to poke his nose where it didn't belong. There can be no doubt, he's the one who incited the Saurian's attack. Forgive me. I never meant for any of this to happen. <laughs> Trust a beastrin to muck things up. Jonas! Surely there's no need for such talk. Yeah, you would say that, wouldn't you? Seems to me beastrins go causing problems, and we humans are lumped with the job of cleaning up after them. Jonas, please! You're being ridiculous. Fair! I do apologize. It would seem things have turned rather uncomfortable. But we mustn't let this sour your triumph. You came to our aid when we needed it most, and for that, you have our gratitude, Sir Arisen. I do hope you shall visit us again anon. It was a rotten note to end things on. I do hope Sophia Run will be all right. Welcome, sir. Doubly so if you're here. To buy? Many thanks, sir. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch, in my case. Well met. Looking to make a purchase? Hope to see you again. I'm done for. Thank you, Sarah Risen. That's twice now you've aided us. We've a long road ahead, but fear not. Harv Village shall be bustling again ere long. I do hope you'll stop by if. You're no fisher. Huh? I can tell at a glance. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it.
Fancy a look at my wares? No one will disturb me here. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? Do come again. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. The Arisen is ever prudent in the application of coin.
Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? Good sleep is the key to a good adventure. It isn't much of an adventure if all we do is make camp. Let us return. I've just recalled. I found a treasure chest near here during my travels beyond the rift. May I show you to its location? Look there. I espy another statue. Climbing it would grant a clearer picture of our environs. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. You must not let down our guard. You must not pass your foothold to short and greater heights. Did you try not to touch gold? Let my magic view your weapon with the fury of the elements. to join. Don't bother. Let me alone, will ye? I'm a busy woman. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Britain gets the worm. The arisen has been trenched. Come 
to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. <laughs> Freshly rested as we are. This battle ought to be an honor. Try not to get hit. Let's go that window away. One of us is still trapped. Let my magic grant you an elemental boon. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. Parting is come. Thank you, Let Bayard. us work together to honor. At last, the moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. Sir Fulvio, the artist whose service Sir Clark commissioned, is residing in Batal. Should we go and meet with him? I know where that person can be found, Master. This way. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Rest assured, Master, you'll hear nary an idle word from me. The creature's corpse will serve us well. Go right ahead. Decisions, decisions. Let us trust in ourselves and proceed with caution. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. No harm in picking a few. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. We may benefit from pursuing the...
Yon chest appears to be beyond our reach. Is there no way to reach them? Sir Fulvio, the artist whose service Sir Clark commissioned, is residing in Batal. Should we go and meet with him? Say no more, Master. I know just where to find this person and will guide you there post haste. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. <laughs> This way, if you please. It is no more or less than what one might have expected. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. Was I too quick for you, Master? Don't worry, I shall wait for you right here. Our destination is rather distant. Perhaps we ought to consider employing the services of an Oxford. Master! We have no means of exploiting our enemies' patients. In traversing other worlds, I came to know of a treasure chest in this area. The chance you'd like to see it? My thanks. Take this with my gratitude. Over here! You'll never reach our destination if you continue in that direction, Master. But I suppose I can guide us there later. 
Tis not for us to gainsay the Arisen's judgment. We must go where we are bid. Hang in there, Master! I'm coming to assist! Could you come over here? Boy, keep your distance. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. Another statue? Mayhap will yield us sort of use. I can foresee no reason not to go see it up close. Where are the Benin Harpies, Venom? We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Poison is a nasty affliction. Thank you, Arisen. Oh! 
Well spotted. Indeed. Good on you for being so observant. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Got a good feeling about this one. Let's find magic sword to an immense food. Well, it's most effective. Your soul. This time was the cat's cold. It seems you've somewhere else in mind you'd rather go. If you've no need of my guidance, by all means, lead the way. The Arisen decides our path. We have but to follow. A reward for our efforts. I expect... Captain Brandt will know how to put what we've gleaned to good use. Now to report to Captain Brandt. Certainly, Master. I can take you to this individual. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Right, just follow me. Here we go again. Battle cannot be avoided. Fight or die.
This is a good find. A fitting reward for a rigorous search. Seems you must attend. And a palace masquerade, if you're to meet the one who would falsely claim your title. Shall we make for Vernworth Palace? I can accompany you to the castle entrance, Master. But no trouble. Sunset draws near. We shall have to be all the more vigilant. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Consider many your words. That was incredible. Never have I encountered such a strategy. Now that is a surprise. It's best to leave harmless creatures be. Curious how a fine meal makes your eyelids heavy, but not your stomach.
must you run so fast? I can hardly keep you in my sights, Arisen. Let us endeavour to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. More for smelling the rope. Oozes, but just now, Sir Fulvio, the artist whose service Sir Clark commissioned, is residing in Batal. Should we go and meet with him? Leave this to me, Master. I'll bring you straight to the one you seek. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Look here. A path. Is it safe, I wonder? Pray keep your wits about you. We needn't go barging in. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon. But at least I know I am up to the challenge. Let's not let down. Say, have I seen you around? Methinks there are rare materials to be found hereabouts. Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find? Wait to find out what's inside.
I want you to die and play. Use it well. Huzzah! What a team we make a reason! Defend themselves when crafted like this. Materials such as this can be combined to craft things. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Say, you wouldn't have stolen from me while I was delivering it, and if Master Everard should find out, he'd wring my neck. There's no exaggeration. He's had people killed a four, more than a few, at that, to be quite truthful. I'd intended to sell off the Jadeite Orb and quit this place for good. Working under a man such as him, I'd only get chewed up till he decided to spit me out. Unless... unless you were to find it for me. Would you, sir? I'll pray do a poor man a kindness. The Jadite Orb could be anywhere now. Pray, sir, seek out. That's for where to look. You could try asking a bandit, or someone who's apprised of illicit dealings. Might not be easy getting them to talk, mind. I sleep on my woes, man. Behind the This place is no easy thing. Making a living as a soldier. Greetings, sir. We see a great many customers, given our location, so you'll have to forgive us if the ale runs dry. The sword and staff is open for business. In the end, it was all for naught. In the end, it was all for naught. Greetings. You are tell me, in your comings and goings, did you happen to encounter a man by the name of Offulv? He seems to have vanished while in possession of a treasure known as the Jadeite Orb. My fellow merchants are scouring the city for him as we speak, but have had no luck as yet. And if I may be candid, our primary concern is not the merchant, but rather the orb. Tis an item of precious importance to myself and my partners, you see. I must see it reclaimed, post-haste, and in my hour of need, who should wander by but the good arisen? What say you, sir? Would you be so kind as to seek out the Jadeite orb on my behalf? You will be rewarded handsomely for your service. Of that, I can assure you. It seems this Jadeite orb is in high demand. Two people have asked us to... Oi, you there! You've just arrived in town, haven't you? I don't mean to pry, only it's my grandson, a boy by the name of Raj. He's gone missing. Pray tell, 
Have you seen the lad? Morris, I've just found out Roger's been abducted by beasts. W -w what No! How can that be? I've just heard news. Rog was seen being dragged off by wolves. Oh, my poor boy. We must go rescue him at once. Morris, think what you're saying, friend. We can't go charging off after the lad. We are no match for such creatures. Do you truly expect me to do naught but twiddle my thumbs when my only grandson's been taken from me? The soldiers won't do aught for him, will they now? Consarn it all. He's right. But what else am I to do? If I do not hasten to the poor lad's aid, who will? Did it do you truly mean that, sir? You will save my grandson. If you return him to me, I will be forever in your debt, stranger. Shall we seek some answers? Please, stranger. Here to ask all of me, are you? Have you come from Vernworth? How are things there? The ancient battleground to the north is overrun with hordes of fell beasts, and so little are survivors anticipated that you'll find not even a checkpoint here. In times past, twas safe enough a night when the monsters sleep, but no longer. Since a few days past, skeletons and phantoms have made this their nightly battleground. It is nigh impassable now. It could be that aught's befallen the cenotaph. I'd heard the spirits had calmed somewhat since twas erected. Say, if I cannot dissuade you from traversing the ancient battleground, would you consider passing by the cenotaph and making sure aught's are right with it? Beg pardon, sir. I mustn't be distracted. The flowers that bloom around here glow come nightfall. From what I can glean, the petals absorb the sun's light by day and release it after dark. Isn't that unusual? Nature works in mysterious ways. Have you need of me? Ah, Sir, how can I be of assistance? Greetings, sir. We see a great many customers given our location. I've got wares of every ilk. Pleasure doing business with you. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Oh, I wish I... Welcome, sir. If you've a change of vocation. After all, it is folly to linger on a single vocation when there are so many exciting methods of combat to be tried.
How goes the collection? Made any progress? Always a pleasure. For it. I suppose things can't always go Come my off way. it. If I don't have enough to deal with. Nothing wrong with filching for survival. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Come if you think me a liar, then buy something and see. the truth for yourself. Ah, I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very well. Hope to see you again. I don't have all day. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Interested in my wares? I shall brook no name to ruin this metal. I always saw the short Would you be so kind? Larcenous deeds are the cat. Strange that. Consider Mayhap you've seen those headless stats. Couldn't tell you whether any of that's true or not. My what to make of this? Good day to you. I truly appreciate Had you not spoken up when you did, I know he's in pain. I am- Oh, I should tell you. I heard someone in town witnessed Roger's abduction. He may have some inkling of where the creatures took the boy. Pray, do all you can to bring Roger back to us. Well, 
Well, hello there. Ah, oh, there's always demand for weapons, particularly near the... Border where quack Orals occur every up. The day. Do you come again? Well met, sir. How's the day treating you? Reckon your road, trade towns, can make you right sick of crowds, but here... At least, you'll find a bit of peace and quiet. We must rest, though the sun is still up. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Come. We've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept well. <laughs> <laughs> 